So I'm driving through Dallas yesterday. It's cold outside, it's rainy, it's absolutely miserable. I see a guy standing on the street corner and he has a sign. And the sign simply said this, homeless, but not hopeless. I thought to myself, there's a guy that gets it. There's a guy who has figured out life. There's a guy that realizes that all negative situations are temporary. And the only thing that matters is how we view situations, right? You think about the couple of things in life that nobody can take from you. Self-worth, self-esteem, you know? Those two things are self. That means they're inside of you, you get to dictate it, other people can try to influence it, but in life, you get to decide how you truly feel about those things. Hope is one of those things. Hope is a belief that things can, get, that things can change. Hope is a belief that things will get better. Hopeless is a belief that things will never turn around, that it's always going to be bad. But guess what? If you're feeling hopeless right now in any situation in your life, I want to tell you this. Hopeless, like I said, is a belief. And not all beliefs are correct. Think about the time when you used to believe that Santa came down the chimney. You used to believe that the Easter Bunny came. You used to believe that babies came via a stork, right? All of those situations in life were beliefs that we once really thought, and we found out that was incorrect. So if you're hopeless in a situation, if you're in a, a job situation, you say it's never going to get better. If you're in a relationship situation or, or you're, you're single and think I'm never going to find that person or I can't turn my health around, that's a false belief. You have to start holding on to hope. Hope is something that nobody can take from you. You got to develop that hope muscle in yourself. You know, at the bank, I have a safe deposit box. In that safe deposit box, I go put things that are important. I put important documents in there, right? You think about if you have a safe at your house, you put the important things in there. Hope has to be one of those things. You have to store those, what I consider like those little uh, hope multipliers, those, those situations, those memories in your mind of times when it seemed bad, but you turned it around. It seemed like you weren't getting out of the situation, but you turned it around. Because see, if you can start to store a bank of those things, then any time you start to feel hopeless, anytime you start to feel defeated, all you have to do is go unlock that uh, safety, safe deposit box in your mind and say, okay, you know what? Yeah, it seems bad right now, but I was in a worse situation before. I didn't have any money before. I thought I was going to be lonely my whole self before or a whole time before, and I got out of those things. And in doing so, you start looking through those, those, those mental memories, just like you're looking through your phone at, at pictures of back in times when you were happy, and you start to develop that confidence. You start to develop a little bit of momentum. And finally, you have to understand in life that as long as your heart is beating, as long as you got breath in your lungs, then you have the opportunity to have hope. And if you can have opportunity to have hope, if you can store that hope in your mind, if you can move it to the forefront and, and, and let it influence your thoughts, your life can and will turn around. It's Wednesday.